اگر چه 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 پیچ اگر چه 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 پیچ اگر چه I buy anything I want cause I got a check Alright y'all, so we're gonna start this video off just right by giving a big huge shout out to my dude Non Cooler Hopefully I said your name right, hopefully I ain't botched that joint But nonetheless, my dude hit me up said Ray, it was like like 4.30 in the morning or something like that he, I don't know what he was doing up at that time But either way it goes, my dude said Ray, I'm sick of this nut air community You know what I'm saying, let's make something happen so he said i want to make a donation give me my cards i'm done with this game i can't wait for man 16 but in the meantime do what you do with these cards be kind to him but do what you do with these cards you know what i'm saying so like i said he did end up giving me a donation give me all these cards you see we got lando pace marcel reese dead dear you know what i'm saying we just getting these cool little cards and then we got some more we got luke king we we got who's that sheriff you know what i'm saying we got Von Miller. Von Miller making it making it to the crib. As you can see, definitely much, muchly, muchly appreciated from my dude. Like I said, I don't know what he was doing up at four in the morning. But he did hit me up at four in the morning. I happened to wake up. And my phone was going off. And, and we made it happen. Much, muchly appreciated to my dude. Not definitely appreciated my dude. But you know what? We're not done, hashtag Trill Team. We got more people. We got more. We got my boy Dr. Filthy. Dr. Filthy, and, he, and he's not the only one. We also got my dude, King Pistol Pete, though. Big huge shout out to both of y'all. Definitely big huge shout out to my dude, Pistol Pete, because he uh, is a former um, Navy dude, you know what I'm saying? Doing his military thing. Big huge salute to him. Definitely muchly appreciate it for all that you do and all the other ladies and, and gentlemen that do do their military thing, whether it be like the Army, the, uh, the Navy, Air Force, um, um, what was the other one? Military, all that good stuff. Like, definitely muchly appreciated. But between the two of those dudes, because they actually hit me up, like, within, like, 30 minutes of each other. It was like, Ray, same thing. We're, we're, we're good on Madden 15. We're, we're, we're good on the BS. We want you to do what you do best, y'all. As you see, I think between the two of them was, like, like over, there was, like, 60-plus cards. Like, it was bananas, yo, the cards. Like, as you can see, I'm just... Going through it, just going through it, going through it. Like, it was bananas between the two of them. My dude, Dr. Filthy, is, like, probably one of the most laid-back people I ever met. This dude was just super chill. And then to my dude, Pistol Pete. Me and this dude, we definitely sound like we could go bike just because we grew up off in the same cartoons. You know, Doug, Hey Arnold, uh, Rugrats. Ran and Stippy, Rocket Power. It was just bananas definitely talking to this dude, you know what I'm saying? To all three of you, I definitely appreciate the donations. You know I'm going to do what I do best with these cards. We may keep a few, then we may sell a few. You never know what I may do. Nonetheless, tomorrow you will see what the what I do with these cards because I got a course. I, I, I got to make some some tough decisions. Luke Keekly, you know what I'm saying? Darren McFadden, will you be here? I don't know. You may not be. Nonetheless, like I said, definitely appreciate all three of you. My dude, Non Cooler, uh, Pistol Pete, and then to my dude, Dr. Filthy. As you see, Emmanuel Sanders actually was our last one. And like I said, I think it was like, between all three of them, it, it would have had to been like close to like 100 cards or something like that. It, it was just bananas of cards. You see, like, I, I got I just go through my notification. My notifications, yo, it, it, it's a lot. What we going to do is we going to jump into some Black Ops 2. While I'm waiting for a lot of cards to sell, while I'm waiting for me to go through all my notifications, we're going to jump on this Black Ops 2 and do what no we place. do best. Hopefully, you know, say catch somebody doing something that they shouldn't be doing, like camping. You know, camping could be a, a, a really bad thing nowadays. You know, some people do it. A few don't. I'm one of the few that don't. I'm actually a rusher, you know what I'm saying? So I, I happen to be one of the fortunate ones that doesn't. But I'm looking to catch that food I just saw on top of that roof. So I'm like, okay, maybe I'll wait for him. I'll wait for him. I said, maybe I can go around. Let's see what happens. Then I end up catching this food in the house. Get slapped, right? And then catch that tea bag. You already know I'm tea bagging because you was caught in that house. You most likely was looking to camp right away as I catch this man. Shoot right in the bite. Just because you know what? I, I don't want to run a chance of me missing. And then look at this. Two clowns running the buddy system. Now, in this gameplay, there's a lot. Well, not in this gameplay. Just in general. Look at this. Oh, I almost had it just to straight up sleep without getting killed. But unfortunately, I ended up getting killed. But I did end up getting him. So it was all gravy. But like I was saying, 
in in this game and look at this buddy system in this game or in Call of Duty in general. Why do people run the buddy system? It's to me, it's so dumb. I can't stand when my teammates are running either with me, beside me, in front of me, whatever the case may be. Separate. That's like probably the worst thing you can do is run the buddy system. Buddy system, especially when you had those kind of moments. Hold on, what is this? Boy, go to sleep, but finally caught somebody, and I did not have to worry about dying in the process. But like I was saying. That's got to be one of the worst things to do, especially when it's a close game. And you already know. I caught you. Oh, 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 hold on. Get up, get up, get up, get up. I'm running out of bullets. I'm trying to knife it. A knifing system so terrible. I'm looking. I'm like, which one did he go? Which one did he go? And then I realized that, you know what? I need to give me a gun because I'm running low. So I end up picking me up something and then all for nothing. I end up getting dropped. Come on, man. Like I was saying, uh, yeah, come on, man. Don't bring a knife to a gunfight. Nonetheless... The worst thing you could do is run a buddy system in a close game, especially when it's like you need two more kills to get the W, and then it'll be you and your teammate that be the last two kills. It's just a bad look all around. I definitely don't recommend it, and I definitely don't recommend you laying on your dick and camping. You are killing me, Smalls. Nonetheless, I do fast forward a lot of the times in this game just because I was running around a lot. People was camping. People were doing a buddy system. So it was tough for me to find somebody. And look at my dude, though. He came through with the shotgun and let loose, though. Not on me. See, I'm smart. I'll let my teammate go first. You know what I'm saying? You go ahead and do your thing. You go ahead and run first. You be as dumb as I think you are. And then I'll go ahead and clean up. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead and do what you couldn't do the first time. And as we get my man right there, get off the wall. Oh, you gonna catch that hunter killer? You already know what time it is. I love that hunter killer. That's, my, that's probably my favorite uh, kill streak out of everything in this game. I'm mad excited. Huh? I caught another camper. Mad excited about um, Black Ops 3 dropping. I am a little bit excited about Man 16 dropping. Uh, I I really I'm really not the type to do a whole lot of promotions for that game. For me personally, with Madden 15 being how it is, I don't believe a word that coming to EA mouth. At E3, I had to play the game first. I don't believe a word that come out of these commentators' mouth about the game either, because they be selling fake dreams all the time anyway. Now, Black Ops 3, that's different. I like Black Ops 2, so I had no problems with it. Hopefully, it'll be as good as people are promoting it to be. Same thing with Madden 16. You know, I'm a rock with it regardless, but I you, ain't, you just ain't gonna catch me doing no promotion. You also ain't gonna catch me getting caught camping either. Like we just caught this fool. Just a bad look all around. We just need one more kill. And that's exactly what we do. We end up getting that last kill. Never a doubt. Good job. And we get the W. That's all that matters. Again, to my three dudes, non cooler Pistol Pete, and Mr. Dr. Filthy. Muchly appreciated. You guys will see tomorrow what I did with them, co them cards, the coins I get, and what cards I end up picking up. But it's been real. It's been true. It's your boy TDK, and I'm out.